All right guys, so today I'm going to show you how to get your wall perfectly plumb. Our wall here is falling away. So we're going to use these LSL studs to make them perfectly plumb and flat and straight across the entire wall. And I'm going to show you how to do that. It's pretty easy. Let's go. Okay, so part one is I have my LSL studs. I'm going to put them into my corners. So for the sake of the video, I have everything pretty, uh, I have everything pre-cut for the sake of the video, but I know my wall is falling away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out about quarter of an inch. I'm going to come out about quarter of an inch over here on this side, attached it. Everything that we're doing here, we're using screws just because it's easier um, for the showers. If we have to adjust something, move something around, it's easier. We're gonna grab our stabilo level. We're going to set this, set this bad boy level. See, that's where my level is right there. So that's almost half an inch over there. I'm gonna leave, hold that. And then I'm going to tack a screw in here. Screw in over here. And then one in the middle. Four screws per stud is enough. All right, so this is one of my points. My next point is going to be actually this post. All right, so we have our plumb point on the right side. Now we're going to use a plumb point on the left side. And over here, I'm using a post just because I'm going to have a shower glass over there. I just want to make sure I have anchor points all over the place. Also, uh, I need anchor points for my hydro band board. But same thing on the bottom, we come out quarter of an inch and then we set our post plumb. Then I'm going to use one of these guides. I'm going to use an LSL stud because it's so freaking straight. If I can use that, then all the other studs, they have to just touch it, like a little kiss, basically kiss the other ones. And then, you know, they're all in plane because our right side is plumb, our left side is plumb. So now if all the other studs are touching this stud, they're all going to be plumb as well. And I'm just going to repeat the process. We're going to put four screws into each one of these. That's going to be more than enough to do. Um, I can secure this guy just because it's a little bit wider on that side. And this process itself, probably is taking me i don't know let's say half an hour the entire process takes for me to do and uh half an hour to get perfectly plumb walls will come back a hundred times just in your tiling you're gonna have absolutely zero lippage um and it's just a you know easier way to do in this like i see a lot of people floating their walls and i don't really understand the concept because there's so much stuff that you have to do when you're floating your walls and it's just a messy job either way you're stripping your bathroom all the way to framing so might as well do this this is really not that hard um so again we're going to repeat the process make sure that our studs are kissing that point and you know those guide studs that i call them that they're touching them and then the whole thing is going to be plumb check it out all right, guys, and that's it. That's how you get your walls perfectly flat and plumb. Flat is important for tiling because if it's nice and flat, tiling goes so easy. You don't have to worry about any lippage or anything like that. You just trowel and stick the freaking tile on there. But you want it to be level because we have our glass panels, glass doors, and we're trying to be legit contractors here, right? So let's check this out. So I have my full length. So these are LSL studs, freaking laser cut. We have absolute contact on every single stud. So that's perfectly flat. And then here is our level. So please subscribe for more stuff like this. Tomorrow I'm gonna show you how to build a niche.